This video brought to you by the 2014 Ford Escape with 7.9 inches of ground clearance and Moog R-Series rear lower control arms. Rust protection optional. When choosing an outfit for a woods flight, be sure to wear some sensible shoes. You'll also want to bring a sense of humor. Here's an update on the drone that I found in the Mississippi River. And there is one video on this card. Timestamp is 11-27-2020. So this drone crashed three years ago. So I'm thinking that this was its one and only flight. Is that your hand? Mine? Oh, this is my hand. Okay, never mind. And here it remained for three years. Luckily, the pilot briefly filmed himself. If you have any information that could help reunite this guy with his drone, please email me. Flying fast and low offers viewers an increased sense of speed. Just don't fly too low. Cliff diving with a drone instead of your body is a lot safer. However, it can injure your wallet quite a bit. Welcome back to the CBS Sports Network. You're watching Bowl of Palooza 2023. Here's a ball's eye view of the lanes for you. And that drone just got a strike on its first roll. Great job. Here we see a genuine Australian kangaroo and her offspring just watching the drone go by. All right, three bridges. I got this. No problem. Not even going to slow down for the first one. Boom. Like a pro. Okay, hold up. This one's a bit lower. And bam. Oh, cool. That reflection looks great. Oh, hell. Prop wash. All right, I'll go through. Come around and set up for another pass. Glad I did a practice run. The second time will be... Crap, I forgot about the grabbing trees. When learning FPV, set challenges for yourself. Colin here made it once. Twice. And not deterred, he switched drones and went for number three. FPV, smash, fix, repeat. I thought the y'all and the y'all won. I thought the y'all and the y'all won. I'm Robert Stack, and how this drone got itself trapped is truly an unsolved mystery of epic proportions. With seemingly no way out, this poor drone eventually accepts its fate, and as far as we know, is still buzzing around up there to this day. This one's for you, Ken. Trees are dicks. All right, heads up. My head is up. Just go high fast and you're fine. Just go high. I kind of caught it. I think we're okay. I love you. I love you too. I don't love trees though. Me neither. Not many details to offer on this one. All I do know is that is exactly what you think it is. That's a penis. The owner of this drone is dropping this unit on a buddy's roof as a joke, but the joke, as it turns out, is on the drone owner. I'm 
meant to do that. Stay at this height and you'll make it down the road and under the tree no problem. Whatever you do, don't fly up at the very last moment. Well, that was kind of predictable, wasn't it? Okay, coming in for a landing. Slow and steady does it. And I've got a bunch of visual observers here, so this should be a piece of cake. Note to self, don't enlist visual observers from a school for the blind. This is a beautiful stagnant pond. All right, let's land me. Well, what are you doing? Not on the water, go up. Uh, up, no, up, stay up. No, 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 up, stay up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why, buddy, why? This is an interesting building. Guess we're doing a flyby. Excellent. You know, you're really getting better with this whole flying thing. Great. Now it's stuck up there forever. Wait, what's this? Oh, cool, rescue. Too bad you filmed it with a camera missing two thirds of its sensor. Vertical video is the devil. I can see a drone shadow on the ground. That is so cool. Looks like things here could go sideways. Yep. This accident is 100% pilot error. My fault. I was flying at 15 meters, 49 feet, and I should have checked my surroundings. Lesson learned, always check the height of obstacles before you fly. The 2007 Saturn Sky Convertible. With 177 horses under the hood, this Porsche wannabe has the power to put 30-something women in the passenger seat and turn heads as you accelerate into the best midlife crisis ever. Viagra not included. This video was sent in by Joseph Halteman. He managed to get his Skydio into a pretty precarious situation. Jesus. But don't blame Joseph because, as you know, nobody actually pilots a Skydio. So it did it to itself. But then his buddy came to help. And when they sent up a DJI Air to see where the Skydio was, they found it. But then... <sighs> oh, f oh, f indeed, Joseph. F indeed. And I can feel it deep inside Proximity flying close to the ground is a great way to get that exhilarating sense of speed. But don't get too close to those trees. I just want to know if we can go back, if we can go back, if we can go back. I just want to know if we can go back, if we can go back. 
That's it. Set it down gently. Watch the wires. Watch the wires. Okay, missed the wires. And here we have it, folks. The whoopsie face of the week. Whoopsie. And we're running, running, retrieving, and saved! Yeah! Once again, what exactly are trees? Dicks. And a big old power loop. Snow covered trees are cold dicks. You can't really see the magnificent and beautiful deep red color of these leaves from here, so let's go over and get a better angle. Wow, the sunlight really makes those fall colors pop. We're filming a red car. And we're filming a red car with a scratch. Now we're filming a red car with two scratches. Randy Orton in a place we've never seen him before. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Explorers on this glacier were fascinated with this ice cave and just had to have a closer look. Once there, the drone signal was much weaker, but the ice cave simply must be documented. Suddenly, they lost telemetry and the ancient glacier claimed another victim. Or did it? <laughs> Takie akcje jeszcze nie robiłem nigdy, stary. No to masz, uczysz ratownictwa, Zawsze uratowaliśmy to... drona. Na kursach. This unique covered bridge is of course an irresistible subject for filming with a drone. Just a nice cinematic straight through shot, in and out, and you've got it. Wait, wait, I don't think you've cleared the roof line. No! No! Oh, no! Oh! Flying over treetops is like baseball. It's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old tree game. If you're lucky, when you fly too far away from yourself, your drone will automatically fly back to the home point. This is probably one of the most beautiful return to home flights I've seen. But don't forget to regain control once it gets back in range. As advanced as drone technology is, GPS accuracy isn't always what you might expect. Try visual line of sight next time. This is a wonderful half orbit shot of a mountain cut, but don't you think that perhaps there's an identical one on the other side of the road? Of course there is. Fly directly towards the box, but don't actually hit the box. Don't hit the box. Don't hit the box. Don't hit the box. Don't. Oh, good. Didn't hit the box. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull. Retard. 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 Sometimes, when you're flying high above everything, a random skyscraper will jump up and grab you. Ooh, I heard it through the grapevine that no longer will your drone fly. Honey, honey, 
Yeah! <laughs> Here comes another dumbass. I got it. <laughs> this is the 2000 Pontiac Bonneville. It's got a 240 horsepower, 3.8 liter V6 engine, cruise control, leather seats, and an oblivious owner. Oh, neat! How could anyone resist flying through this little tunnel? Even though it does ice up sometimes. Not today, though. Nope, today is sunny and warm, and you got this. Steady hands. Watch the wall, and... You did it! Stupid tree. Okay, here we are practicing our flips way away from any of those nasty trees. Oh man. Hello and welcome to the Chuckle Hut. What do you call a male cow that keeps falling asleep? A bulldozer. <laughs> What's yellow and hurts if you get it in your eye? A bulldozer. <laughs> What's about to take out this drone? A bulldozer. Oh, the weather outside is frightful And trees are so damn spiteful So your drone is about to go In the snow, in the snow, in the snow Yeah Oh Pencet dia sama. Lucu ni lucu. The path to great art is to know your tools. This artist's palette, the sky. His brush, a drone. His brush cleaning tool, a tree. He sees the targets and accepts the challenge. A little hesitation at first, and... Done. Going for two. Breezing straight through and done. How about a third? Ha! Ah, too easy. Throttle to the floor for number four. A wise man once said, you've got to know when to hold them, you've got to know when to fold them. Hey, that's gonna do it for volume 11. These compilations take a great deal of time for me to assemble, so thank you for supporting my channel with a YouTube or Patreon membership. Link in the description. If you'd like to be included in volume 12, send your crash to kenheronupload at gmail.com. Put crash in the subject line. And until next time, buh and bye. I'm Ken Heron. Does your drone flying look like this? Then you need remotepilot101.com. Link in the description. Well, let me tell you a story about my good buddy's drone. Flying through the forest, he couldn't leave well enough alone. First he went toward the tree, yeah, he was doing pretty good. But trees are dicks and now he's sawing wood. Oh yeah! <laughs>